James William Sebagala is the fourth bishop of Mukono Diocese. He was consecrated on the 19th day of September 2010. Sebagala followed the footsteps of his predecessors, who include Bishop Mpalan Nkoyoyo, who later became the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Michael Senyimba, and Elia Paul Zinda Chizito. Mukono Diocese is composed of four districts Mukono, Kayunga, Uyikwe and Buvuma. And our main concern is now the issue of Buvuma. Buvuma is one of the new districts that have just been formed. And this is entirely islands. But even when you consider Buvuma, Buvuma is the major, is the main island. But there are so many other small islands uh, that go along with the Buvuma. One of the areas that we have intensified on is that every month, at the end of every month, we send at least 30 to 40 missionaries who go to various places. But what they find there, and when we go there for confirmation, is actually terrible because you find that the health conditions are in a very bad state. Because these people have not constructed big houses, they are like actually uh, uh, small thatched houses. And in a small area of about 10 by 10 feet or 3 by 3 meters, you find that the whole family is living in such a small area. It's actually a means of uh, spreading AIDS. Because you find that in a small hut, you find the mother, the father, all the children, over 10 people in a small area. And then you wonder how they sleep. There is a lot of incest. You find that children give birth at a very early age. And there are no toilets. Whereby you find that it's not easy to dig pit toilets uh, on the island because uh, the land is very fragile, they usually drop in. So people, you wonder where people go to ease themselves and that's why these islands are actually, uh, they, they have a lot of dangers for, for, for health, it's a health hazard whereby all sorts of diseases are there. Katiaba Tuza Abam, Baba Denga, we have to go to the hospital. Naba easy. Neka tina yo ya kudem. Kasnaba na ba isu ogenda mushi mumsiko. Neka kuto chizika tuli bantu mkumi bidi. Nafu tuli nafu tulo onda. So tulo tu sabo government. Tuloze kwa na shuba loans ba yo. It was during those pastoral visits that he came to realize a number of challenges affecting part of his flock residing in the islands who are mainly fishermen. This ranges from health, education, sanitation, shelter, and impossible road network, among others. The islands are also said to be a harboring ground for habitual criminals of all sorts who escape from the mainland after committing capital offenses. Well, we have Buvuma Islands, we also have Kome Islands, which are part of Mukono Diocese, but falling under Mukono District. So, as Mukono Diocese, for us, we don't regard them as districts, but we regard them as islands. And in total, Mukono Diocese is in charge of 67 islands. Some of them are small islands, Others are very big islands like that of Buvuma and Kome. On the side of the health services, 
Bovuma District has only one health center for, which is located at the main island at Chitami Rosel in Bovuma Town Council with a number of challenges, as highlighted by Dr. Geoffrey L.M., a member of Uganda Medical Association, WOMA, who had visited the facility with other medical colleagues from the same association to offer free medical services. Bovuma Health Center 4 is, 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 is an island. So we of course came by ferry to the hard to reach area. So after the community mobilization, we saw many mothers, we saw many children, and also we performed some surgeries. We've seen a total of about 200 patients, yeah, just on day one. But the health center for need support. It lacks quite a number of basic things like machines for checking pressure, machines for checking whether the patient is hot or cold, called a thermometer. And we also perform certain scans. And most of our scans were really for pregnant mothers. And actually, almost all the mothers we saw had complications. The only challenge, of course, we experienced is it is a very old machine that does not scan very well. And we actually could not complete the scans because the old machine broke down. So the Health Center 4, of course, is in dire need of, for, for help and support in terms of medical equipment and ultrasound machine because ultrasound machine is important for reproductive health for checking the well-being of babies to mention and for detecting other other medical and surgical complications as well so that is really the biggest challenge that we met the inadequate and very old equipment that we are breaking down <laughs> There are many islands which do not have even a single drug shop selling at least painkillers. Therefore, accessing health services by the people living on those islands is so hard as elaborated by the Buvuma Member of Parliament, Robert Migadendugwa. The most vulnerable group in this case are the pregnant mothers who find it hard to access health services and are consequently forced to deliver from their villages with the help of traditional birth attendants and unqualified health practitioners as the only available means. Many pregnant women are reported giving birth in the boats, traveling to the mainland for the attention of the qualified medical doctors. The mass 52 islands, it has only nine health facilities. Uh, one is at health center four, uh, three at health center three, the others are parishes. That means you have six sub-counties without health center three. And uh, uh, of course the drugs are also very limited because they are based on the census, operation census. Yet uh, the guidelines for census were that you are counted where you spent the census night. And we have a big population which spent the census night on the lake. So where are they counted? They are not counted. And also have a lot of in-migration from the Soka, the Yuku and so on. So drugs are finished within, within a, a week. So uh, there is that. But of course the most common diseases are relation to uh, let's say Bilhazia because of that water. We have a lot of water from the lake, but of course that it is not safe to drink. Then we have also have AIDS, I mean HIV, uh, which, where our prevalence is actually high in the islands compared to the national prevalence. Ours is uh, uh, 8.4, so it is quite, quite, quite high. And the, uh, the, the other issue is maybe uh, diarrhea, uh, then malaria. So those are some of the, the uh, diseases that our people normally uh, suffer from. Access to the good education is yet another big concern. Children at the islands hardly go to school. The youth of shall not and will not. The youth of shall not and will not. not? I shall not visit you next week. I shall not visit you next week.
I am called a Sege James Peter, a teacher here in Namiti Primary School. I am a class teacher, Primary 4. We have gathered some areas under the sheds. Under the sheds, you have, we have some trees and we have created some classes there whereby all our classes were put under the trees. P7, they are also standing under the tree. Even P6, P5, all the classes they are standing under the tree or under the trees. Mm. Except only primary one, primary two, they are mixed in the uh, temporary church. We don't have toilets here, and our children always resort to the bushes, to, to the, to the bushes for help. For us also, we don't have the, to the toilet here within the school. We move up almost like. 300 meters away from the school. That's where we have the, the latrine for the health center. We know that uh, if we continue to experience such a situation, we are, the, we are going to experience problems like diseases, like bilihazia here, even the water we are drinking, it's not safe. Here, then again, some children, when they are attacked by diarrhea, they always get difficulties. Here, the, even the compound sometimes is is polluted because of this uh, any proper disposal and proper way of uh, waste disposal that one can also make us to get diseases here if the situation is not rescued but if we add the word here plus the word not plus the word not it becomes now a negative word wow, this one this one is positive but if we add here shall not it becomes what? Negative. Are you getting me? Yes. This one becomes what? Negative. This is a total mess. So that's why the church or the Diocese of Mukono has chosen really to go and do a ministry in this area. We are trying to construct churches. We are also trying to establish, to plant church. We do church planting. We are trying to construct some small houses for the little readers who can take charge and at the same time try to establish schools so that children can go to school. You find that the population of children is so high at the island to the extent that at one time when I visited I was told that one of the prayers that I should not say was for them to give birth because that was natural for them they also told me don't talk about uh, 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 don't talk about uh, family planning because for them they produce as much as they they want so these are some of the areas where we need to help these islanders so that they get to know the reality of life One of the challenges that we have is transport because the means of transport to these places is basically uh, by boats and it's only from one area where you can have a ferry uh, which is a little bit safer but the rest you have to use small boats or in the boats and at some other places you have to use a canoe which is actually pedaled with the with the with the pedals and so it is a little bit risky nevertheless according to the great commission we are supposed to reach these areas so what we have done as mukono diocese first of all we bought we we, we bought a uh, a boat and an engine but because it is frequently used it has got old very fast 
uh, it has a very strong engine but the wood has gone old and so it's not very very uh, secure to travel by, by it because we have used it now for three years. The bishop started a fundraising drive for the 50 bicycles for the lay leaders in Buvuma Islands and a motorcycle for the parish priest, Reverend David Katenya. <laughs> The lay leaders from the islands where the bicycles course cannot be of any use, the Bagala equipped them with solar panels which solved the challenge of light during night hours. <laughs> The Bible Society of Uganda also donated Bibles which were distributed among the lay leaders, compiled by Henry Suboga. Bandang! <laughs> 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 <laughs>